I love that live streaming sexy voice there. It's the sexy voice. The live streaming is on. Yes. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Static Show. This is Bob. Hello, everyone. This is Delbert Grady. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Grady. How are you this evening? You've always been, You've always been here, Mr. Lament. Ah, yes. I see. How interesting. Yes. Do you want to how a few bars of that song you were playing? What was that? Uh... I uh, had played before the show started some old college music, I suppose, that uh, <clears throat> Bob used to uh, enjoy. And um, <laughs> okay, it would not fit. I don't think with the plausible. Um, you know, oh, I think it would fit just fine. I would think it would be. Fine. I don't know if everyone would be down with it. You know what I'm saying? So. Down with the system. It was uh, inhale Einstein, exhale Hitler. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that. Yep. So that was it. Inhale that was Einstein, exhale Hitler. <clears throat> that was a good song. Yeah, I can't remember the name of the group though. It was an old independent thing uh frankincense and myrrh something no like we, no well, the acoustics the acoustics yes that's it. wow what a good memory you have i know yeah. it's like yeah i'm like slowly like slipping away with my memory but i'm cursed i'm cursed i can remember that but i cannot remember my first love Mm, I didn't know the password to get into plausible tonight but I yes can't i don't remember that but i i can remember the acoustics so it's it pains me the pain oh that's my uh that's my almost uh um who oh humbert humbert Mm, you're james mason james mason excuse me no later no later into my car. It's only a few steps away, Lolita. Only a few steps, Lolita. Yeah, see, that's my James Mason. I'll be playing bong water on the stereo. <laughs> I was playing bong water earlier, yes, I was. And butthole surfers. I I... You might not recognize the song, but it was very popular back in my day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. Hey, yeah, James Mason. No one knows who the fuck that is. Jeez Louise. A desert Fox. Desert Fox. I don't know what else he was in. Only those two movies. I don't know. Uh, he was in a bunch of stuff. He was in a lot of Oh, I, I'm sure he did. Those are the only two I could name, though. He yeah. said name two. I was like, well, so, you know, Lolita and Desert Fox. But, yeah, he was in uh, Lolita. Original Lolita, perhaps? Yes. Yeah, I think. Well, there probably was some kind of silent movie lolita uh. mm. so you were just telling me that you were the dan snyder of podcasting what who's that <laughs> <laughs> i have a quick story about dan snyder that is really disturbing what even could be more disturbing than what the, well it's the, only disturbing to me it's not allegedly. disturbing to you so I've watched that Quiet on the Set, right? And there's a new one out. I haven't watched the new one. I'll watch I it. I watched uh, the, the first couple, two or three. I watched, oh, there's only four, and there's five now. just came out. But I watched the first four, and, you know, my kids watched all those shows because they were that age when it, yeah. whenever it came out, you know. And there was, yeah. was allegations even back then of all this that I can recall. Um, and it just makes it all the more, you know, skeevier when you watch yeah. it. Yeah. But um, I go, you know, they kept showing all these pictures of Dan Schneider. And, mm -hmm. you know, he, when he was younger, right? right? Right. And I'm like, I tell my wife, I'm like, have you seen a picture of Dan Schneider recently? And she goes, no. And I go, here, I'll, I'll show you. Here's a picture of him. So I, I bring up a picture of Dan Snyder 2024. And I go, God, doesn't he look old? She's like, no older than you. Oh, no, she didn't. <laughs> oh, no. Now he's got his hair all dyed and everything. He looks bizarre, if you ask me. But yeah, she said that. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. Thank you. Thank you. I was waiting to hear. 
You know, it looks like Miles. <laughs> no, uh-uh, she didn't bring you into this. Oh, thank God. Yeah, no, she just, she just, you know, kneecapped me. <laughs> you know, it was just took a baseball bat and hit me right in the shins. Yeah. Because here I am saying it looks old, and she's like, no, no. I'm like, I do not look as fucking old as Dan fucking Schneider. You're about as heavy as him. I don't know. He seemed to have lost a little weight, but. uh, Yeah. But that's actually not my story. That was just, that was an aside. So uh, recently, um, so. We've been living in our current location for about over a decade, a little over a decade now, I guess, somewhere close to that. Yes. And when we moved in, I was like, I would really love to have a snowblower because we have a long driveway, right? And it would Mm -hmm. be nice because I'm going to die shoveling this driveway. So we don't, so we live, I live near St. Louis area and so I get the snowblower and then it like it doesn't snow. Like for right. years. Cause I'm in a part where sometimes it snows or sometimes the snow is only here for a day. Right. And, and then it melts, right. you know, and so forth. And then of course we had mm-hmm. uh a fire, which of all things it did not destroy, it did not destroy the snowblower. Um Miracle. A miracle, yes, the miracle snowblower. And then um we had COVID. And so then right. we're just not going as much. So it doesn't matter if it snows. I just don't have to go anywhere. So I've got this albatross of a snowblower now that's been hanging around in the way for years. Right. And so the other day my wife finally gets, she's like, can you just get rid of this thing? I try, I've been trying to get rid of it for a couple of years, to be honest. But I didn't want to just give it away uh, unless it was to somebody that I knew would, would utilize it. And I tried to give Correct. it away to some friends and so forth. They're like, nah, I don't need it. And so right. finally the other day, my wife's like, can you just get rid of this thing? And uh, I go, okay, today's the day. And so I I push it out uh, to the to the busy part of the, you know, the, I live where it's not too busy, but the busiest area close to me. And I have an old box and I take a Sharpie and I write free on it and yeah. I stick it out by this, this busier road. This is unlike you, but yeah. Okay. I know. Yeah, it is. But my, she had enough. It's been, like I said, it's an albatross. It was hanging around my neck. It's always in the right. way, you know, I keep right. moving it around, you know, it, I can't get it to work half the time. So it's just like, it, it's time to go. Right. No, I agree. So I, uh, I I set it out there, and earlier in the day, and it's like a Saturday, and uh, then I don't know later. At some at some point, I have to, I, for whatever reason I have to do all these errands, <laughs> and so I'm I, I I get sent out like three and four times a day to go on the weekends to go get things. <laughs> I, mean, I can't explain this other than the fact that I. I'm amenable, you know. Will you go? Sure. So it's a good tissue. What? Yeah. yeah what? Good tissue. Why? Why? Yeah. Uh, Unlike yourself, I will pick up uh, feminine protection uh, at a moment's notice. So therefore, I'm always running around. So you look like a woman, though. So <laughs> well, I, I don't look as good as Dan Snyder. Yeah, uh, apparently he's Actually, he's yes. rich. That's part of the deal. So yeah. I well, you are. I run I run out, and then when I come back, I'm like, oh, it's gone. <laughs> the snowblower's <laughs> gone. Someone has taken it. Yeah, yeah. And I was so happy. I'm like, it's gone. It's finally gone. You know, it's like yeah. uh, it's like I gave away a possessed item or something, Annabelle, or you know. Uh, what was that little sailor guy on Ozzy uh, Ozzy Osbourne's show? Um, I, like it's finally gone, and so then I, I come in. I tell my wife, you know, I'm like, hey, they, somebody took it, 
And she's like, oh, that's great, you know? And I go, and they mm-hmm. didn't even leave the free sign, which I was even, I figured they'd just chuck the free sign in, in my yard and then just take the right. snow blower. But they didn't. They took right. it all. They took it all, which I was surprised by. And so then I um, uh, I tell her, you know, we're all, we're rejoicing, you know, like ding wow. dong, ding dong, the witch is dead kind of a situation. Yeah. Yeah. Now we'll probably get the worst snowfall this year or something. Ever, oh, I will but, laugh. When that happens yeah. Like that. Um, so anyway, so then uh, next day, you know, we celebrated. Everything's going well. And uh, I'm outside grilling because, you know, I love to grill. You love to grill. You are the grill man. I yeah. grill. I'll just grill whatever. It doesn't matter, you know. <laughs> grill me a potato, yeah. whatever. Right. So I'm outside making pork chops and uh, I sit down in my rocking chair and I'm just kind of, you know, it's nice, nice uh, evening. Mm-hmm. Good, smells good. I'm making barbecue pork chops. Oh, I'm getting hungry. Yeah, <laughs> they were good. And hungry. I look over across the way and there's oh, my no. fucking snowblower at the neighbor's house. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was angry. I was so angry. First we got his apples. Now we got his snowblower. Yeah. And I'm like, those sons of bitches. I didn't want were- them to have it. I wanted it some nameless freak to get it, you know, who drove by yeah. and threw it in their truck. Oh, they're laughing at you. Oh my god, it's sitting out there and it's just taunting me. I'm like, you <laughs> the guy's out there polishing it up, you know. Yeah. I, I was like I I'm like I am un I, I I'm mad. I wanted to give it away, yeah. but then I was mad. It's like Oh bitch. I I don't know I don't understand these emotions. I I wanted it to be some yeah. nameless, faceless rube who came and got it in his truck. Right. No, right. it's my neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't know how to feel about this. I'm still quite angry wow. about this. But I gave it away. I mean, it was I. I shouldn't be yeah. angry. I, maybe I'll have to go for counseling on something like this. I guess I don't know. I gave away like a swing set a long time ago and there was like a guy just down the street and he gave me like a nice set of golf clubs. He's like, well, here, I don't feel right just taking this. Really? Yeah, I don't think I'm getting yeah. anything from this cheap son of a bitch. Yeah, this is a story I did many, many years ago. Yeah, this guy's mm. like just loaded with golf equipment. He's like, here, go ahead. Here, I stole this. these from Chi Chi Rodriguez. Yeah, I mean, his whole garage, nothing but golf bags. Really? Clubs. Holy moly. Yeah. Anyway, so well, I, I'm not getting anything. I don't think it's just taunting me in my yeah. line of sight. <laughs> you pull a Larry David to just like walk over there, like, hey, listen, uh, hey, that wasn't for you. Over. That was for that was for the world, <laughs> not for the neighbor. You, you kind of owe me, you know. I mean, that wasn't you know cheap. That was yeah, like a nice, uh, that was a nice snowblower. It was a craftsman. <laughs> I, you need to send this into Larry David immediately. <laughs> immediately. He's done. He finished. It's over. Curb's over. Oh, man. This sounds like a complete Larry David setup. Man. We've been doing Curb for 25 years. He only did it for 24. So Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. You owe me. You people owe me. I can't, I don't understand why I'm so angry about this. I, I do you, do It's you know just one of those things. Wrong? Uh, you know, as much as I don't talk to people, so I know them as much as I know anybody. <laughs> I mean, I was like, I wave to them, like when I drive. Yeah, by I wave at everybody. I'm very polite. I'm just not very, uh, you yeah, know, forthcoming. Nice. Yeah, you know? yeah, a little bit, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I'm like, <laughs> you don't know, be even better. You go out there. There's like a for sale sign. Yeah, on yeah. It. That's what I'm waiting for oh. next. He's gonna put it back out where I put it, and he's gonna put. You know, hundred twenty five dollars. I'm be like, son of a bitch. No, it'd be like if you had like five hundred dollars on it, and you see you like some dudes bringing them cash. You're like, yeah. oh, don't buy it. It's shit. No, oh, he's a lying son of a bitch. You owe me. I get seventy five percent of that. 
I'm going to check Marketplace on Facebook right now. Yeah, really. No kidding. Um, no, really. Like barely, uh, barely used 10-year-old snowblower. Let's look under University Park there and see if we can find mm, it. Yeah. I, it just, I don't know why. I'm just so yeah. angry about that. Well, that is weird. That is weird. It, it is, is weird. weird. Yeah. <laughs> there you are. Son of a bitch. <laughs> but my, my pork chops were still pretty good, so yeah. But it They're... it didn't it didn't tampen the pain of knowing yeah. that my cheap son of a bitch neighbors took that snowblower. The pork chops were a little salty with your tears. It sounds like yeah. Uh, oh, I was more angry than sad. Yeah. <laughs> what did your wife say? She laughed. She's like, ah. yeah. She laughed. Ah, oh, you fool! You fool! The worst thing is this is the neighbor who's always mowing his grass, you know, to yeah. make everybody else look bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, like, why? Why are you mowing your there? He's probably mowed his grass about 10 times already. I'm not even oh, done for it once. Christ. Oh, my I'm God. I'm like, you quit mowing your fucking grass. Oh, believe me. I'm surrounded by people like this. Believe me. It's like uh, in Big, you know, John Lovitz is like, slow down. Slow down. <laughs> In my neighborhood, it's like nice yard, nice yard, nice yard. Yeah, Miles's yard, nice yard. <laughs> nice yard, nice yard. Like I break Maybe, the chain. You got like, Mr. Oh. Miyagi next door. Oh yeah, he yeah, that's all guy. He's that's he's all. out there with scissors manicuring his yard. Oh yeah, he's constantly, constantly. I'm like, ah, oh, these people, and then I, you yeah. know, I have to go. Then of course you hear about it. You know, you really should mow the grass. Oh, I'm like, why? The neighbors have all mowed their grass. Oh, my God. There's like nothing to mow over here. I'm like, I don't know what, what? people are. There's barely anything to mow. I mean, people are going nuts. I heard about four or five of them like on Sunday. I'm like, Jesus. Christ. Then they blow all the I don't blow anything with no blowers. I just mow the grass and that's it. Let, let the cuttings fall where oh. they may. Yeah, I had that two weeks ago, some jackass, or just kept revving that goddamn blower. This goes on for 20 minutes. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Like, what in the hell? Please, if this thing blows up and kills them, please, God, just, oh, God. So what's going on with you? I'm just angry. So I was out there selling some stuff. No, I was kidding. I was um, stealing things from my neighbors. Uh, yeah, I was just driving around looking for free shit. There are junk. <laughs> There are people that like, do, yeah, the like, junkers. Look, yeah, that's what I was hoping for, are, really. Yeah. Um, my oldest son, I don't really, you know, we don't, I don't know about you, I don't like really telling stories like, you know, second, third hand or whatever. Right, yeah. I, don't have, I, thought this, I don't know, maybe this won't translate well. I don't know, but uh, so uh, my oldest son uh, works in a uh, like a office building kind of sort of with a bunch of different you know, businesses and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And so it was announced that the uh, authorities would be holding like a practice drill, mm-hmm. like an active shooter kind of. Uh, oh, really? Thing. For the whole building? Hmm. Yeah. So it was just kind of preparing people. I kind of saw a little blurb on it. I'm like, oh, well, interesting. So I, go, I wonder if my son knows about this, you know, little Miles <laughs> Jr. You know. They're like, no, he's the shooter. Yeah, my son's a shoot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the Texas tower, yeah, he's got the son. crazy eyes. No, I'm just mm-hmm. Joking. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. just joking. And uh, and uh, so that day happened, and so he's at work. They know about it, you know, his particular you know area. And uh, so I guess if you hear something going on, the you whoever's closest to the door is to run and like lock it immediately. Gotcha. Oh, that makes sense. That right. makes sense. Yeah. I'm like, okay, well, what could go wrong? You know, like, okay. And like, uh, what but that's could like, go wrong? That's, yeah. that's not like the lobby area though. It's like more like the working area of the office. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gotcha. So the lobby part is to be left unlocked, but mm. okay. So, uh, <laughs> anyway, so he's working, and uh, so he's hearing, you know, some, you know, pretend gunfire and, you know, people yelling. Oh, they actually he's did like, pretend oh, oh. they like, have a their phone or something? Like, 
Yeah, they had blanks and stuff like that. And oh, they had yeah. actual guns. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They were, oh my yeah. lord, this yeah. is uh, this is high tech. I thought somebody well, would, I mean, they got that like, that shotgun app for your phone where you go. Right. Yeah. No, it wasn't like an M16 or something going on. Okay. But, you know. Weird. So, so he jumps into action, and uh, he's actually got some surveillance ca- cameras like you, you know, set up, you know, mm-hmm. and stuff. And he goes, okay, well, there's no one in the uh, lobby area, so I'm, mm-hmm. I'm good to go, right? Yeah. So, yeah, he locks up, and, you know, they whatever they do after that. And, Always uh, check your six. Yeah, and uh, come to find out, he's locked out the secretary. <laughs> 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 you just, you just signed that woman's death warrant. Yeah, basically. Next thing you know, is he's there. Pop, pop. Like, well, yep, yeah, we got her. Yep. Uh, oh, the cops nice. go, "Stop your hands, motherfucker!" You know, like, oh my god. Like, he's all freaked out. And then, uh, you know, so nice. the end. So they're critiquing him, and they're like, "Well, uh, technically, you did the right thing, but you lost know, so, you know, Sacrifice Susie here to the shooter. <laughs> oh my god! He didn't see her though. She was like in a blind spot, you know, wherever she was at. Like she was, you know, we're off. Next time you ask me if I want coffee, yeah, right. I'm like, oh my god. So now he's like, um, you know, thinking he's Bert from Aliens. You know, like you know, Ripley. <laughs> Which one's bad? You know, it went sideways. Ripley it went sideways. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> he's a Paul Razor, you know, Burke yeah. character. Burke, he's <laughs> one of a. <laughs> he's like, you I'm know, like, you got a case of the Mondays now, Susie. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. He uh, led to the uh, fake death of a coworker. So, oh, so. that's terrible. They should have done all the paintballs. That would have been even funnier. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, yeah. I mean, it sounds funny. Sus- but, Susie know. comes walking in. She's all. Blood stained from yeah, yeah paintball. Right. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh my god. Thanks a lot, Miles Jr. I'm like, you son of a bitch. You didn't really do that. Yeah, I did, oh, but I didn't. Uh, you know, he didn't think about it. He just like left in the action. Like, okay, yeah, just, yeah. So poor gal. Uh, yeah. So mm, well, I mean, you know, hey, uh, I I you know, I know one there. lesson he learned from his old man. That's right. Save yourself first, son. That's right. I will survive the zombie apocalypse. Look out for number one. That's me. That's it. No yep. kidding. Yeah. And she. good thing she left her purse unattended during that whole time, too. I got <laughs> free lunch. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, she's dead, so really. <laughs> oh, I got a hold of her phone, and I did some DoorDash to the office. Mm-hmm. Oh, she had some coupon books from the Boy Scouts. Look at it. Cool. <laughs> some cookies. Coupon cards. Coupon cards. Oh, nice. Well, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, boy. Didn't have any survivor's guilt? Yes and no. I don't know. He thought it was more <laughs> than anything else, I guess. Yes so. and no. <laughs> It's, it's funny because he did have it on camera. Like you can hear like the cops actually cursing, like "motherfucker, <laughs> hands up, motherfucker!" Yeah. Really, they were doing like the these poor people yeah. are traumatized. Holy moly! Yeah, because the shooter actually came into that room and like you know off that lady. Like, we're gonna oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, but my son lived, so that's what's important. That's what's so. important. You got to keep the bloodline going, son. Amen, That's son. That's what you got to do. Your dad's proud of you. Don't yeah. don't worry about what anyone else said, man. That's you, right. That's yeah. right. You got to keep it going. Live to fight another day. That's what I say. Yeah. Oh, my God. Such is life. Till next time. <laughs> <laughs>